our uh, calf crop. What? I'm a pro with this stuff. <laughs> Are you all happy to be working cows today? How much do you want to bet they're going to beat me to the gate? Roxy, it's not even hot today. It's 66. You're going to need a bigger uh, water bucket. Yes, you're going to need a bigger water bucket. Oh, she's a mess. Good morning. We're starting our day, obviously, on the horse barn, like any other day. I am going to chore, and then we are going to get ready and go sort and work off calves. Uh, wean calves, so that's one of my favorites besides calving season. And it's a nice little break in between hay, um, starting really getting into second cutting. I lost my train of thought. Packages that one. Thank you. That's what we use. Two bags. Two bags. We got warmer meds. I have meds. Okay. So I need that cooler though. I'll go ahead and start taking this. All right, I'll go s collect uh, syringes and needles. How much you want to bet they're going to beat me to the gate? Come on, girls! Woo! Can you all be my eyes back there? Let me know if somebody's going to run me over. Come on, girls! Cause too much stress with the girls, so I gotta work on getting them used to it first, guys. Come on, girls! Hey, come here! Hello, ladies.
So in the midst of everything, we are just pulling calves off. The cows are getting a dose of wormer, and Jason's hitting them with lovely fly spray today. We're not even really running them through the chute. Our girls are gentle enough that we can kind of just let them stand here. We'll pull so many off at a time and turn them out. You ready? Come here. Go on, girls. No, Roxy, come here, come here. Come here, get out of the way. Hey, 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 come here, come here, come here. Hey, hey. Heads up, 39. Are you all happy to be working cows today? No, because nobody's really balling. Even these calves aren't balling. Yep. Come here, Rox. 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 Roxy, come here. Roxy. Roxy, come here. She wants to work so bad. Hey, come here. Hey, hey, hey. Get out of the way. Heads up behind you. to get some water you just gotta hold on I know you like to swim so all the calves are gonna stay in the arena here for now and then we'll work them in again in a couple days we're just running out of time today I don't know if you guys can see like the haze in the air Ladies are happy. Just gonna fence line wean for a little bit and get some creep at home and fill these kids up. I will be making some, well, all of them will become steers. All of them, I think, except for maybe one or two bulls. Um, it's not my end game to make bulls. Bulls take a lot of feed and a lot of money put into them, um, per se. It just takes a long time to grow good bulls. I'll make several show calves out of them. Like, I mean, look at that stud muffin right there. Several be show calves. Show calf quality. There's another one right there. There's freckles right there. I mean, yeah, that one looking at us several and then we're going to hold back the heifers pick out the best ones for ourselves and uh probably end up shipping the rest gals are happy they're eating grass we'll get some more hay over here do have shiloh and leo in with them and they don't care calves don't care horses don't care look at that face looking at us watch them move i just like watching them move this is, this is by far the best calf crop we've ever had 
a lot of that is the genetics that we've been putting to work. Herbert bulls. Angus cows. I mean, we don't just have Angus cows out there, obviously. We've got some red Herefords, red Angus, a couple Charlays. And out of all of them, we got one snowball heifer. One snowball, but you can even tell that she's, she's definitely Hereford because she's marked just like a Hereford. I know you guys want some water. Okay, we'll go get you some water. You guys have worked hard today. We need to fill the tote anyway, guys. Roxy's having a conniption fit because there's no water in the tote. Okay. Yeah. I think they'll be all right, don't you? I think so. <laughs> it's not even that hot, Roxy. <laughs> oh, 8-11, it'd be all right. They'll get out in a minute. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to build Roxy a pot, uh, like a pool or something. Good morning. It's Thursday. I don't know what day in September, but um, we are doing some rearranging this morning. We have corn coming for Carol's chickens and then our creep feeders. I don't know if you guys can see them over there are in the lot somewhere. somewhere. They're green. There they are. Um, we have creep feed coming for those calves that we pulled off their mamas yesterday. We are going to finish working them this afternoon. And I also have hay to bale. The humidity is once again causing some lovely interference. We have fought more this summer with humidity issues than I can ever remember fighting, at least in the last several years. Um, I've got aerating I wanna do, I have brush hogging, I have cleaning. I have so many fall projects on my to-do list that I'm not sure Jason's prepared for all the things I want to accomplish before snow flies. It's always something. Farming doesn't slow down just because we are not baling hay. There's always, you know, hauling hay, delivering hay, mowing, raking, and then all the other things that you don't see like me picking up trash. So, yeah. Thanks for tagging along. Like, subscribe. Share it and uh, we'll see you in just a bit. Skid loaders, they have so many purposes besides what they're actually made for. Where are you going? Just leaving it here? Guess I'll grab the pickup and then quickly throw out some hay. I'm gonna go see my grandma. I guess I better feed my ponies real quick. They might appreciate that. The calves think they need fed, but I'm not gonna feed them at the moment. They can patiently wait just a little bit. Good morning, everybody. So I only have the boys up. The girls are back in the back pasture that Jason mowed down the other day. Um, I'm gonna have to pick up feed today too. Out. Uh, so the girls are down on that back pasture. I'll feed them when I get back. Just take care of the boys real quick. Feeling good? Was your water not as good inside the stall? 
because it's fresh here. Is that what it is? Because it's fresh. Some more feed supplements for my babies. What? She's like, I'm a pro at this stuff. <laughs> she wants to be a pro. Don't you, baby? Let's go. <laughs> Sounds like a feed lot. Yeah, a lot worse than yesterday. They were content yesterday. Not so content today. Day two. I know. All right, I'll go get this big guy down here. Come on. We're not leaving him. Come on, Roxy, get him up. Come on. That's good. All right, let's go. That's good. Come here, Roxy. No, over here. Focus, folks. Just a shoot full of calves, huh? Papa. So everybody's today is getting wormed and vaccinated. We are following the Show Me Select heifer program vaccine wean protocol. I'll put that listing right here, but that's just easy for us to follow should some of these heifers fall for us the way we want them to in the replacement program. All the boys are getting around a tetanus. Pretty sure the next one's a heifer too, babe. So the boys are gonna get around a tetanus today. A little feisty. A round of tetanus today and then 21 days, we will do another round of tetanus and band then. We order all our meds through FBN and get them shipped straight to the house, which is convenient and easy for us. Come on, babies. You guys got yourself all kind of capoggled, didn't you there? 70. I guess you're not 70, your mama's 70. Come on. This is our biggest batch of calves ever. <laughs> Y'all are cute, 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 big guys, aren't you? Yes, you're probably going to be a steer boy. Yes. Look at them booties. She's got good eyes. Pepper. Oh, I didn't even look. Pepper. So she would fit the program. Her mama was a show me select. Come on, girl. Okay, you guys are both not gonna fit through there at the same time. One of you are gonna have to pick. Um, is this one your favorite? Yours. Oh, is it mine? Who's it? Oh. Big old black patch on it. oh yeah, 21. 
Your mom about killed me I don't know how many times, but I'm gonna make you my friend. Yeah. One black eye, you about gave me Yeah. He about gave me two one day. <laughs> Lock you in there. Are they on top of each other? Not too bad. In the front they were. Y'all are packed in there, huh? Alright, boo, let's go. Load up. You know, they don't look so small when you put them next to Captain. He kind of blends right in there with some of them, don't he? last two days this day um uh, i don't know what day he mowed it down but it was too wet with the humidity playing a huge factor into it so now we're baking now jason was gonna uh, bring the baler down and run it i'm having some problems with my bales being too heavy going with the tension with the accumulator so he said he would run it for me and see if there was something i was missing I'm sure there is, so I'll just kind of let him figure it out. Sometimes that's what's best is for him just to jump in the machine, and uh, I needed something easy today anyway. Our uh, calf crop was exceptionally well. Very pleased and proud of the group that we've got at home. I thought they looked really good. <sighs> All things considering, I think I told maybe Instagram. I got a new hat today from our uh, Richie tags, the engraveable tags that we use for our permanent ladies that come and stay with us for the long haul. So I actually talked to them this morning. I need to order some more tags for these girls that are going to be um, sticking around that we're going to hold on to at the heifer pin. So we'll talk about those. But this is pretty awesome. I love goodies in the mail. It's like when your birthday happens, right? I'm gonna have to clean out my tractor. The tractor mats help a lot. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got them for the Massey yet. I'm gonna have to call them. But if you need to help keep your tractor clean, there's a code. Teddy, you'll still be my favorite. Bye, Teddy Bear. <laughs>